Three D printing can turn our imagination into reality. For example, bringing the virtual characters we love to the real world. However, customizing a physical object is not as easy as changing a virtual one. To make this mini and keychain, we probably have to reprint a new model that has a handle. What if we can 3D print new parts that can attach to existing objects and enhance their functionalities? In this project, we explore three computational techniques that allow us to design and fabricate new features or components as attachments to existing objects, like printing an LED casing onto a 9 volt battery to make a simple torch. Printing a magnet on a teddy bear to stick it onto the fridge. Printing a structure to make a glue gun stand. Printing a name tag for a pair of scissors. Or printing a four pack holder for the red bulls you need for the deadlines. We present a computational framework that enables the creation of these functional attachments for augmenting existing objects. We start with geometric analysis of an object and the attachment. How viable it is to print the attachment in that location, how durable the attachment will be, and also usability and other semantic issues. Then we visualize these analysis results and let the user explore various design parameters for making the attachment. When the user is satisfied with the design, a 3D model is generated that includes the attachment and other connecting and supporting structures. With the model and our custom printing process, the user can then fabricate the attachment using a regular FDM printer. To better illustrate these steps, we showcase three attachment techniques developed under this framework. The first technique, print over, lets a 3D printer directly print an attachment onto the surface of an existing object. Our analysis and visualization highlight areas of the object where printing attachment will cause collision problems. The user simply clicks at the point of interest. The system then orients the object so that the selected area can be reached by the printer. It also creates a scaffolding structure that holds the object in place so that the printer can directly print the attachment on top of it. The second technique, print to affix, generates an attachment that can be affixed to the object using external mechanisms such as adhesives or straps. We use constructive solid geometry to make the handle snug fit to the area the user selects. To use strap, the user simply draws on the object to indicate which way the strap goes. The attachment is then made strappable using zip ties or velcros. Straps also make attachment reusable, such as this simple battery casing. The third technique, print through, prints an attachment through the hole of an existing object. For example, for the scissor name tag, the printer is paused the midway, and the scissors are placed onto the print bed so that the name tag goes through one of its handles. When the name tag is finished printing, it is already attached to the scissors without using any external mechanisms. We perform a physics simulation to tell the user when to pause the print so that the object can be dropped without interfering the print head. We evaluated these attachment techniques with a stress test. The results show that using adhesives creates a weak attachment. Other techniques overall show promising strength compared to the baseline approach, but all suffer from changes in the surface curvature and roughness. To summarize, we show that 3D printing can be used not just to build objects from scratches, but also to augment objects that already exist in our everyday life. Our techniques and the computational framework serve as a point of departure for designers, developers, and makers to further explore this exciting space.